Happy Tuesday evening, everyone. This is No Edits Crypto, episode 139. A couple stories, market update today. Uh, market down a little bit right now for the day. Um, not too crazy uh, movement going on, but nothing too crazy, I guess. But uh, the first story here is Bitco adds 57 Ethereum tokens in largest ever custody service expansion. Uh, this was out of Coindesk. The security startup Bitco exclusively told Coindesk on Tuesday uh, it will expand its suite of custody products and services to support 57 new Ethereum assets, a more driven by demand for services that safeguard private keys. Uh, a move driven by demand that safe, uh, uh, for, for services that safeguard private keys, the alphanumeric strings that act as passwords for crypto assets. And that once lost are for uh, ever gone. Um, so, Bitgo is not obviously the only um, uh, only one interested in this. Obviously, Coinbase is pretty um, pretty well um, interested in doing this as well too. Uh, it says the security startup Bitgo exclusively. Uh, where is it? Where is that? The startup is hardly the only industry upstart rushing to debut institutional custody services. U.S. exchange provider Coinbase, the Swiss startup Smart Valor, and Japanese bank Nomura are just three of the companies rolling out licensed crypto storage solutions. Uh, funded in 2013, Bitco has been an industry leader managing wallets in, at crypto exchanges, but to date its services have been limited to, to larger protocols like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, it says, indeed, the overall lack of options has even led traditional custodians like uh, BNY, Mellon, JP Morgan, and North Northern Trust to consider the business, uh, according to Bloomberg in June. And this is from Leah Kuhn, uh, which it came out today, obviously. So uh, that's also an interesting uh, a uh, little piece of information that came out today. Uh, another story that I found kind of interesting today was uh, Google co-founder Sergey Brin, uh, or Sergey Brin, is uh, has ca came out and said uh, that he's been mining Ethereum with his son, and um, he's the uh, current president of the uh, parent company of uh, Google and uh, YouTube and all a lot of other. Uh, companies Alphabet, he's and he's uh, been added to the um, uh, when he spoke at the blockchain summit at the annual event uh, hosted by Richard Branson on July 8th. Brand whose estimated net worth is roughly 52 billion, revealed that he is mining Ethereum with his son. So uh, that's also interesting that he he's uh, he's into the uh, space himself and realizes the potential. Uh, obviously, he's uh, you know the president of a lot of companies that are very centralized. So for him to uh, be in involved in Ethereum and just uh, blockchain, uh, it's interesting that he's uh, you know I'm sure he's learning a lot from this uh, experience, and um, just interesting that that somebody in such a centralized uh, business is is uh, into cryptocurrencies himself. So uh, Bitcoin is down 4.76% today at $6,422. Ethereum down 7.74% at $441.44. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin Cash down 6.19% at $698.06. 6 Litecoin down 4.78% at $77.46. Neo 7.07% down $34.79 to Steam, which is currently um, at where are you at, Steam? Not on the page today. Oh, we had a big move in Steam. 21.91%, 21.94%, Steam is on a run. $2.14, it dropped like 12 places in the market cap, so I had to go on a search there. But uh, everything else not looking too hot today. Uh, Steam, I guess, is the big winner in the, the top uh, 
eight or so that I like to look at every day. But everyone have a good Tuesday night, and uh, hopefully this market turns around. Like I said, it wasn't too crazy. We're seeing this bounce around still between 40, 6,400 and 6,900 basically in the last week and a half now, 10 days. So everyone have a good night.